Not what you expect on a country lane. The path of lorry after lorry dangerously blocked. No fracking is even happening here yet. The controversial process blasting water into rocks under the ground to force out oil or gas that can be sold. Yet protests against early drilling to explore what's there are building fast. But the chief executive of the company on site told me they will not be stopped. We will complete our approved work scope. We're drilling a single oil exploration well at Balkham. It's not a hugely complicated activity. But they're trying to get you to give up. They're trying to get you to leave, will you? There's been 50 other such wells already drilled in Sussex. We want to complete that. that. We will then take away our equipment, remove our drilling rig. If we want to do anything further, we'll go through a completely separate process. People are having to debate without the facts. But the reality is often very, very different to the fear. How worried are you about safety? We are, we are doing something that's legally approved and, and I am worried about the safety implications for our workers, for peaceful protesters. If you want to break the law and take some kind of direct action against the site, please don't do it. But his case will probably never convince local Louisa Delpy. She's terrified of what fracking could do to the environment. Do you trust the company in what they say? Absolutely not. I mean, where can we go that is safe from fracking? Nowhere. She and other villagers held their first very civilised meeting with lawyers this afternoon. They fear fracking could damage the water supply, potentially causing illness or even earth tremors. But those suggestions are strongly disputed. In America, fracking's provided so much energy, bills have plummeted. And its supporters, including the Prime Minister, believe we must explore or miss out. Fracking could provide thousands of jobs and it could provide a significant amount of energy that we need in this country. OK, again, the jobs argument is absolutely false. Numerous studies have shown that you get far more jobs per pound that you invest in the renewable sector. If they're doing something legal, why are you trying to stop them? I think it's a bad law and I believe that bad laws should be broken. Days of disruption threatened to turn into chaos this coming weekend. The irony, of course, of protests like this is that they're holding up the company's activities. That means Quadrilla might be here even longer, which is the opposite of what protesters want. And while many in Balkham, not all, are opposed, there's a fear bigger protests will trap the village in the middle. They're not being led by people in the village, they're being led by people from outside the community here. Tension here doesn't leave much space for either side to make their case. While tonight, the company's appealing for calm. Some protesters appear to be settling in to fight. Laura Kunzberg, ITV News, Balkan.